Am verdamin le vedere te dexji verdamă, spikerji verdamă, deci înser stage, axten, xa peşkeşti, când ti ruca xa iasă cât ne peşkeşti, când. Iacje o an spikerin cu naha mevane me, mevana me al rodave, prez hana jaf cu duare siaseti dau, ruha caren xar xazi, unec chala kiendinda, au activa, bxerbe. Avat a peşkeşti, când te ti ruca xa iasă cât ne gut. بوچه تخواست گنج بزانن چاوهانا جاف سرکتیه آرمان جاتا چه بوش بش داری که نده تدکس سنشتیمان ده؟ I want to be an inspiration. I want to see that anyone that has a dream, that has a goal, can pursue it with education. The key to my success was always education. You know, they sometimes they give you a hard time. People will be envious of your dreams and they'll try to put you down and tell you it's not possible, mm -hmm. just like it happened to me. Mm -hmm. And um, ever since I was a kid, uh, uh, I wanted to be part of the public service. And I wanted to uh, help other people and uh, have a charity foundation and uh, be involved in politics. And <clears throat> what I did was I studied. Mm -hmm. I uh, tried to get into the best universities. I went to try to go to the best schools. And, and that's how I uh, graduated from my, my la uh, bachelor's and then my master's degree. And then I. I moved to Mexico City four years ago, and the only thing I had was my academic resume. Mm -hmm. I didn't know anybody aside from my college friends, uh, but they didn't work in the same occupation or field mm -hmm. as me. And they were. Um, uh, I, I got to the to Mexico City, and and I would go to all the institutions, to all the government departments, and all the secretariats, and in this case, the ministries here in translation. And uh, I would leave my resume. And one day I got a call from the ruling party and they're like, uh, you know what, I think you fit a, a good profile for being uh, undersecretary of immigrants in the ruling party. Mm -hmm. And I had never worked before. Mm -hmm. All I had was my resume. And when I got to the interview, they told me, you know why we picked you? And I said, why? Because uh, there is not a lot of people that had the experience, the work experience, mm -hmm. but you had a higher education. So. I didn't have the contacts, mm -hmm. I didn't have the work experience, but I had education. So that's my message today. Mm -hmm. My message today is the importance of education in today's society. تو سر کار خواه یه جبلی سیاستی امی بحث کار تا بیکن دو واردا ل کار تا از بچم ات فاوندیشن که هست و که رک را که هست هر سر پرورده هست هر تو کار رک را و چیه؟ هر جبو وزارو کن مکسیکو سطحیه یا انجی جبو نفت دولت یا انجی جبو کردان اج بر تو تو بخواد کردی؟ Okay. Well, Jab Foundation, I founded it four years ago. It was one idea, one cause, one small office. I started trying to get volunteers with me. Nobody wanted to. I started to get donations. Nobody believed in me because I didn't have a resume. You know, it's hard to donate to someone that doesn't have, you know, a background. You know. So uh, even the legal, uh, make it, making it legal in Mexico was a hard process, you know? Mm -hmm. They make it very hard for you. So mm -hmm. it was like, okay, so I, I tried, you know, um, when I was in my job as undersecretary, I saw the need of people not being able to communicate. You know, English is a universal language. Awesome. You know, it's very important. And especially for those resettling in the United States, mm -hmm. you need to have some basics in order to defend your human mm -hmm. rights. So what I did was in my spare time, I started writing English books. And then uh, I got like 10 donations, 20 donations, 30 donations, 40 donations. And today, in four years, we've given out 80,000 copies, you know, just by knocking on doors. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but from one person, it became two people, three people, four people. Uh, now we're in 20 states out of 30 mm -hmm. states in Mexico. Uh, we are 7,000 volunteers. And my story and my conferences inspired others to... Uh, to get involved in, in, in philanthropy and giving and, act, and being active. You know, mm -hmm. to, if, maybe if I wouldn't have done this, this charity organization, they wouldn't be helping out today. That's what many of my volunteers have said, you know, mm -hmm. like you inspired me. Mm -hmm. So now in, we have Jaff Foundation in the north and south, south of Mexico and uh, people that I don't even know, they only hear about me through social media and mm -hmm. they're now part of this organization. Basha. And, um, Oh, and uh, yes, yeah, so Kurdistan as well. Mm -hmm. We have a team here, mm -hmm. and the English books is also uh, there's a version in Kurdish. Mm -hmm. So we have given out here in Kurdistan as well. Basha. Yes. The speaker of the motto is Mexique, the Kesna Nostker. 
بوتاجها كنيبو وكانو كا صناهيبو يا يعني جينجي جي جالك زحمت بوتا تشوا شيء عيد جينجها كانو دا مروفن نو ببي مروفن خو ببي خزمن خو كتشا كبتشوك دز بكارك يا وصل ما زم بكي وبش راه هدي هدي ما زم بكي well, I grew up in the United States and my mother was Mexican, but my mother's family lives in the border from San Diego, Tijuana. So it wasn't really Mexico City, you know? Mm. So I went to the capital because I wanted to pers uh, pursue my uh, political career. That's mm. where, you know, the capital uh, city is, is based, you know, the, mm. the pol politics is based there. So I moved there and um, it was very hard. You know, there was a lot of like, first people will bully you, uh, laugh at you tell you that there's no way they'll say like oh get in line you know uh, you'll never be a candidate congresswoman you'll never um, uh, be a, a secretary or undersecretary and I have I have been all of those things mm -hmm. you know but it wasn't like it nothing nothing of that was given to me I would read every day and I would be like okay so this is Mexican government these are the laws these are the initiatives that I have mm -hmm. this is what I can do you mm -hmm. know this is the extra uh, part of me that I want to give, you know, the difference that I want to make. I was, I got there with so much hope and so many, um, that's that drive that, mm. that always like, um, it didn't matter how many people, you know, uh, bullied me because I was bullied not only by Mexicans, I was bullied by Kurds in Mexico. Um, uh, people telling me like, uh, using my studies against me, using, um, my heritage against me. Mm. Uh, you know, people trial you. Mm. They, uh, they'll, they'll put your, uh, who you are in doubt. Mm. So you have to just remain strong. And knowing who I was and the knowledge and the, the education that I got for myself is what gave me that confidence to even sit face to face with the president. You know? So that's what, that's what I recommend. <laughs> تو چطورش ته یه هف پار یه هف بش ال جل گنجن کردستانت بینی گنجن آمریکا و گنجن مکسیکی یانجی تو چطورش ته جدا جد بینی یه دیاری؟ Okay. Well, I see very sim uh, similar my Kurdish side mm. and my uh, Mexican side. You know, mm. we're all big families. Uh, we, my, both are, my parents are conservative mm. and I always, uh, my father is a very proud mm. Kurdish man and he, uh, he would always take me to our uh, cultures, traditions, you know, holidays. Mm. I would always come back to the Kurdistan. I was always aware of the, who I was, mm. of uh, my family members. Uh, mm. And, you know, just like my, the thing that I, I realized that the key to this, their successful marriage is respect. Mm. You know, both of them uh, wouldn't forget who they were, mm. and both of them accepted who they were. Mm. You know, so they they taught me that, and I always had to uh, sort of juggle between them. You know, it always um, depended on who I was speaking to, who mm. I was. Mm -hmm. You know, if I was speaking with a Mexican, oh, you know, uh, we're Tijuana, Mexican, <laughs> and, uh, you know, and and we we do this, and we believe in this, and this, and this, and we're Kurdish, and then the states. Uh, when I was speaking to American, I was from San Diego, you mm. know, and it was it was always hard on me as a child, mm. and uh, at, as a child, I was very confused, mm. you know, I didn't know, it, when somebody told me, like, oh, you know, pick your flag, I didn't know which one to get, you know, but it wasn't until <laughs> I read it. you know which one to pick? Which one to pick? Yes. As a child, I did, you know, like, I didn't know which one, though, and I didn't want to pick one, I, I would never say I was more one than the other. Okay. I never forgot my Kurdish What about side, now? You know, and no, I, I pick all, all three. All three. You know? <laughs> and um, I, I, they're, they're all dear to me in my heart, Big and one. I have always said that I was uh, born in the States, mm. I live in Mexico, and I want to die in Kurdistan. Dear with Jita, not causing big one. Dear with, um, but I can't get Kurdistan. We can get a canna has you call a siasa. It's can, uh, to Zoni, the Moko, I'm Vedere, I'm Jdoig being a Kurd, a Harry Gishma, Hodi, case of Kurdia, Germa. To be again, Jen Kurtu, we can go Habunaka active, ya never shot your dear Ashkira habit and the Giana siasa to Dal Kurdistan. Okay, I think that, uh, they would. Politics is politics everywhere. Mm -hmm. So in my experience, I can only give the experience that I had in Mexico, not Big here. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> education and perseverance. You know, education will cause peace and prosperity everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, if, uh, if you see economies in the world, successful economies, and um, peaceful economies and peaceful countries, it's because their citizens are well-educated and united. Mm -hmm. 
And education brings unity. Mm. It, uh, it tears down walls, it tears down bands, mm. and if um, people are, are, uh, have knowledge of education and other histories and other uh, cultures, you know, there's no, there's, there's no way that there could be racism or judgment or, mm. um, or putting you aside. Mm. So my advice to all youth is that study as long as you can. I know mm. there are difficult circumstances. Mm. I know there are people that will tell you, be realistic, mm. and uh, I can't pay for school or I can't do, but I know Kurdistan has, education is free. Awesome. And Mexico uh, is free until 12th grade, and there are free universities. Bahşe. But it's up to you. Bahşe. Uh, I think uh, uh, I am happy that there is a system that we mm. follow mm. because in many uh, villages I am aware that education is prohibited to maybe small women in the Middle mm. East and uh, maybe refugees, uh, there's a percentage for refugees that only 1% of refugees uh, actually get a higher education. Mm. So uh, I, I am aware that you know the Ministry of Education in Kurdistan is the largest. So that speaks uh, very well for itself. I'm very happy for that. So uh, I, I just hope that everyone that has an opportunity to study. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do know that there is a lot of child labor. So uh, I would really recommend that the parents and uh, everyone that that has a, di a difficult uh, situation at home because everybody has tough times, you know. Everybody has a tough family, you know. It's uh, and but just try to make the best of everything. Like if you work, you know, uh, always put education on. the referendum تو لگورش پاندرا تا بو روشه گلک بیژن دم نینا وقت کش پرسینه هند بیژن هیا بناری ناتاج با کوت دو نوا سیاست دا کارگی نه دم کی درستج بی انجام نا گش پرسی انجام نا گش پرسی ش بوجود ابو نجی عراق یا باشوره کردسانه یان جینا یان جی تو چت بیژی خلکه در باره وی کی دا Yes, I think that uh, uh, I am pro-independence mm. and I always um, am aware of it and I'm always supporting it. Just a little bit ago I was in England and I was a part of a manifestation of mm. uh, asking for Kurdish independence. Mm. And not only that, anywhere I'm based, uh, including Mexico City, I always do Kurdish awareness events. Mm. You know, people at the beginning would say like, uh, where's Kurdistan? What, what is that? What are you? Uh, <laughs> you know, they would look at me funny <laughs> and uh, they couldn't pronounce my name. They would say, Khana Khaf. In Beguma. Is that Mexican? Yes. <laughs> um, yes, and uh, uh, but I was always proud, you know, and I would always, I did this Kurdish festival in Mexico. It was the largest Kurdish festival ever made outside of Kurdistan. 80,000 people and I brought 200 Kurds uh, to Mexico and it was because of a, uh, uh, to promote Kurdistan, you know, and mm. I would tell people like, yes, it's not an independent country, mm. but uh, we are working towards it every day. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I think that we're, we're, we've been processing, but I think there's still a lot we should do uh, in order to uh, uh, get independence. Galax Fos with that, Hana Jaff, Chala Yvonne, Haruha, Siasa Advanj, Galax Fos to Galma, Mevana Rodaya, which Thank you.